we shall continue our discussion on alcian reasoning this uh, lecture today is the part 2 of the series on alcian reasoning so in the last lecture we have uh, concluded till uh, reasoning with only alc language right but we haven't talked about the n part of it right now if you need to consider the n part of alcian we need to consider two specific things two specific constructs one is uh, the at least restriction that is greater than equal to n r and at most restriction that is less than equal to n r so let us consider these two and let us see how do we go about it right so again i'll be uh, taking help of an example to illustrate the case first and we haven't really talked about the algorithm yet we will arrive at the algorithm later at the later part so we are not taking any additional example we will be changing the at the the uh, example that we have uh, started working on in the uh, previous video so that is uh, the given part so the given thing given statements which are assumed to be true is x has a musician child and a physicist child in addition to that we have another statement which is stated to be true i think this is the only adaptation that we have uh, made on the original problem which is is x has only one child and the query that we need to answer the same query does x have a child who is both a mathematician musician musician and physicist and we know that we want to test the validity of uh, 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 this so if we translate the entire scenario in uh, the description logic uh, language this is what we will be writing so it will be looking similar to what we have done earlier but we have to make a uh, suitable adaptation right so this tells there exists uh, hcm that is x has a uh, musician child and there exists hcp and this is the third uh, so this is what we will be encoding now uh, which is less than equal to 1 hc right here i am saying that uh, the person has got one child or no child right and this should imply there exists hc m and p so this is what we have to prove and we have to prove the validity of this implication right now we'll be uh, uh, doing the same steps first step is to translate this into an unset problem right and the unset equivalent of this i'll be writing directly i hope you'll be able to do this on your own following the example that we have given in the last video and there exists hcp and less than equal to 1 hc and for all hc 
negation m or negation p so this is our uh, concept expression which we need to prove uh, satisfiable or unsatisfiable right we need to check its satisfiability now again uh, we need to find an individual a right which belongs to such that a belongs to the domain of discourse and a belongs to c0 interpretation right so we start with the assumption that a belongs to c0 then only we can say that c0 is satisfied again this we have discussed in the last class last uh, video lecture and correspondingly our first tableau state will be this this we know already right so let us go to the next page and start working on the tableau construction right so our t1 is this so this is our t1 right now here we could have done it step by step but we can uh, we know what we need to do uh, so i am doing a bit of step jump so first we will apply the and rule because uh, there are many uh, sub expressions or sub concepts and we can apply the existential restriction rules right so first let us apply the and C0 will be there, there exists HCM, there exists HCP uh, less than or equal to 1 HC and for all HC negation of M or negation of P, right? So this is uh, what we will get if we apply this intersection rule, right? Now what we can do, we can apply the uh, existential restriction rule. We can apply this and following that we can apply this and we know that what will happen, right? So let us uh, update the tableau state or uh, interpretation graph. hc let us assume that we have uh, b to be the individual and m would be its class level following this right and we have to add another edge to the interpretation graph so here we will be having c and our class level for c will be p this we have already done so we have applied this and applied this so this is our uh, t3 because we have uh, done a step jump t3 now there are uh, two potential rules we can apply or two potential concept expressions we can uh, think to apply or expand this is the one and this is the one. We can apply them in any order. But let us uh, consider these first. Right? Now this says that in order to make A to be a member of HC. I am writing it here. So to make A to be member of less than equal to 1 HC. What you need to do that A should have at most one children. So this is what we have to make sure but on the contrary we have two children here one two, right so somehow 
So, what would be a way? So, one case it would be it not be satisfiable which we do not want to do because we want to forcefully make A to be a member of this otherwise C0 will not be satisfiable, right. So, only one way we can make it true by combining these two by pretending that B and C are the same individual. They are uh, referring to the same individual, right? And this is very true under open world assumption. Unless we state specifically that B and C are two different individuals, you can assume that B and C to be the same, referring to be the referring to the same person or same entity, right? So with that assumption, we can merge these two, right? So if we merge these two, this is what we will get. So we are applying the at most rule, right? So, A will be there, but we are merging B and C. Now, as we are merging them, we do not need to give two different names. We can say that B and C are same and just replace C by B. At their class level, they should be merged because C belongs to P and B belongs to M and C be as the same person. That means that C belongs to M and on the other hand B, B belongs to P, right? So, B belongs to M as usual as we have seen here and additionally by virtue of saying that B and C are the same person, B also belongs to P, right? So, here we are applying so, I am not again writing the entire uh, set of class expressions here. We are just writing the relevant one. M union P and which uh, concept expression we are uh, considering to expand? This one, right? So, after doing that, we have uh, obtained this, right? Now, I want to generalize a little bit, it a little bit here. So, what kind of generalization we are talking about? See, uh, well, we have not really applied this rule. We have applied this less than equal to 1 H C. This is the expression we have. Uh, expanded here, not this one. Right. Now, what is the kind of generalization we are talking about? You see the condition that here A has got two children, two children, but I want that A, I want to make the thing true that a has got one children, right? So, in my expression HC, so this one corresponds to this and in reality, if you think about this graph, A has got two children, right? So, this gives me a scope for generalizing the statement a little bit. So, if we have an expression like this less than equal to n r and we want that a to be a member of this and it has n plus 1 children. right and then to any two of them 
at least two of them then two of them are same are same in this case our b and c we can apply this rule if this is the condition right now here we have got only one case of merging now consider the case where you have the condition like this let's say uh less than equal to say uh, 2hc and it has got three children 1 2 3 right so b c d right so one possibility could be you can merge these two or other possibility can be you can merge these two so every merging can give you an alternative so this is alt 1 this is alt 2 you can choose any way of merging right so if we have the value of n greater than 1 then we can see alternate branches so you can see alternate branches for n greater than 1 case right so this is similar to something uh, like uh, union rule so this is similar to something like union rule where you have got alternate branches here you are also having alternate branches depending on which way or which other uh, individuals you are merging right you can merge b with c or you can merge b with d right so it it will give you many alternatives right so as we are having the Uh, value of n to be one, we don't need to worry about the alternatives. Uh, we have got only one, which we have presented here, right? We will uh, uh, talk about the general case later uh, when we talk about the rules format. Right? Now, at in this given condition, the only expression which we can expand now is this. and we know that how we can do that this is very simple to do if you have followed the last uh, video so this will give me a state where a will be having the same set of class expressions this will be hc and b will be having now m p not m union not p right so at this point what you can do there is no sub expressions which you can expand here right but you have one sub expression here which you can consider to expand let us try to do that so here applying one union rule so here we have applied the value restriction rule or for all rule now if you apply the union rule at this point we have got two branches out of uh, this tabular state so one branch in one branch you have a and all the sub expressions uh, you can think of here hc b m not m union not p and not of m 
right so this is one alternative the other alternative is a this hc uh, b m we had got p here as well which i have mentioned m p not of m union not of p and not of p now you can see that this established state this particular established state having m and not m and this satisfies the clash condition so this is a clash right in this established state we have p and not p together so this is also a clash condition and you can see if we look back the entire stable state is started with a single thread single thread up till now then then it had it has branched into two uh, different threads and in every thread we have a clash so that means the unset version of the problem is unsatisfiable in both the branches so let me write it the unset version of the original problem is unsatisfiable uh, following every possible alternative alternatives so that means that means the original version problem is valid because we did not see any unsatisfiability following all possible path right now at this point if someone tells you give me an interpretation for which uh, this is satisfiable which is very easy to do you take any of these clash conditions a uh, tabular state which is in clash remove all the um, non complex or uh, uh, non atomic concepts from the interpretation graph so let us take this a there is no atomic class expression here so it will be empty hc b and what are the atomic classes here m and p so our interpretation will go like this so your domain of discourse will contain a b as individuals interpretation of m will be b interpretation of p will be b and interpretation of hc the relation set would be a b right so this is a very simple example that we have worked with but uh, this uh, particular examples or whatever examples that we are uh, going through they will give, give us enough perspective to develop our uh, formal algorithm right so let us stop at this point and in the next video we will be taking 
another very peculiar case which we will know that uh, what would be the outcome intuitively but again that will give us another feature of the algorithm but for now let us uh, uh, discuss in the next video we will talk about uh, or we will continue the ALC and reasoning algorithm.